Hello everyone and welcome. I'm going to show you how to create a bolt in Inventor. Let's start with a sketch and create our profile for the top portion. Now I want to get just the general shape, so I'm going to add this on the opposite sides and I am going to finish my sketch there. I do want to add some uh, constraints here, so I'm going to add a horizontal constraint. No, my my screen's a little sideways, so that's why it doesn't look horizontal, but it is. Let's add that dimension here. Now that was given in the assignment as 12 millimeters. We see it's black. That means we are fully constrained. Finish our sketch, and then we can do our standard extrusion of the set distance to get the body of our bolt. Okay, now I'm going to add another sketch. What I'm going to do with this sketch, so now I want to create the place that if you were to top just the very, cut the very top of the bolt off, what are you going to see? And you're going to see a circle. So I'm going to create that circle. I am going to go in and add my constraints there. Um, so I want to add a tangent constraint so that that circle and the bolt hexagon edge are tangent. Now I'm going to go in with the extrude, but I'm going to do something different. I'm going to go with this intersection extrusion, and I'm going to add a taper angle. That, that means that the extrusion is going to taper outward, like almost in a cone type of form, right? And anything that would be encompassed by that form is still in your part. If you wanted to make a nut, you could do this on the opposite side and then add a hole in. We're going to do a screw here, so I'm going to do a different type of extrusion here for the shaft of our screw that our threading will be on. Finish. We can just do our normal extrusion here. Set our distance to whatever that length is, in this case 20 millimeters. We want to make sure we're back into join with our extrusion so they make one part. So here's kind of that base of that bolt, the body of it. Now we want to add threading to this area. I do have a video specifically on threading, but let's make sure all our information is correct. If you go to advanced settings, you can see show threading. If that is checked, you will see the threading. If it's unchecked, you will not see the threading. I tend to leave threading on by nature because I have a bad memory. The last thing we need to do here is add a chamfer along that bottom edge. We want that to be, I think it was 0.5 millimeters. And apply. If you hit OK, it'll apply and close, but if you hit apply, it'll apply and leave that screen open so you can do more. Now that is our final product. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll talk to you soon.